Here's, here's an excerpt from a 1980 show about African-American art. There are several schools of Afro-American art. We have the Afro-Cobra School. Uh, this school, they're basically militant. Uh, they're fighting for black rights. They tend to think that the arts should be used as a vehicle to fight for one's purposes. However, you find this in many societies. Uh, even in the Mexican society, Rivera and uh, different artists like that, they, they use their art to fight for the country's freedom. However, you still have the aesthetic uh, group of Afro-American Afro artists that simply paint flowers, abstractions, and some just simply paint aesthetic themes that have nothing to do with social uh, practices or politics. So there, there's a dichotomy between the two styles. Is that existing today in terms of some of the contemporary artists? Yeah, in fact, that's exactly what I'm speaking of. Uh, early on in the country, uh, you had artists basically painting the same things. Until the Harlem Renaissance period came, uh, blacks came together, and they realized that they wanted to appreciate themselves and their culture. Then you had the uh, reflecting back to Africa. People like Aaron Douglas, you know, he painted a lot of the African styles and motifs. So many of the artists at that point decided that we wanted to see what our heritage was and we didn't have to emulate white America and their styles.